manager and one of the registered managers at Home Instead in Ipswich, Felixstowe and Woodbridge. Um, I've been a registered manager since 2012 um, and I've been general manager since 2017. Um, I started in the sector in 2008, previous to that I've been in the banking sector um, working from um, with major banks like the Royal Bank of Scotland um, but I started my career when I left school with very few GCSEs or O levels as they were, <laughs> were then um, and uh, started life as a secretary. So in 2008, after having been made redundant twice on the bounce during the financial crash at that point, I decided I needed to do something different. And um, I'd always thought about potentially nursing or social care. So I started working for a local company, doing visits into clients' homes. Um, and I got my first taste of what it's like to work in social care. And I've absolutely loved it ever since. I um, I'd started um, doing visits into clients' homes, so home care, and I um, did my MBQ level two. I then moved to a nursing home for a period of time uh, where I ended up doing my level three MBQ in health and social care alongside some open university studying, which I, I did myself. And then when I came to work for Home Instead, I um, became registered manager and I did my level five MBQ for the Registered Managers Award. Um, and then a few years later, I decided, I was a bit more glutton for punishment, that I was going to do uh, the masters and, and now I'm responsible for a, a very large um, home care provider um, locally. Um, what's my favorite aspect of working in health and social care? It's gotta be the people. I, I love all the people I meet, whether that's clients, whether that's my care professionals, whether that's the office team. Um, I'm very much a people person and I enjoy getting to know people. But I also enjoy coaching and developing our team here. And the majority of my office team came through from being a care professional, working with clients in their own homes through to our office team. So I very much enjoy developing people the way I developed, right from the ground up. Um, I haven't really had a huge number of challenges in my, in my career progression through health and social care. I feel perhaps for me it was very much um, uh, suited to my personality and to the things I enjoy doing. But obviously within the role of health and social care there are always challenges and there are days when you go home um, and you think, wow, that was hard today. But then there's other days you get small wins throughout the day and you think, that's why I'm in, in this industry and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, COVID was particularly challenging um, and I think um, anyone that worked in health, health and social care during that time knows the impact that had on all of us at that time but you know what we did an amazing job we were all really strong everyone in the industry and um, you know still going strong today the one thing that doing this role um, has enabled me to do is to actually become involved outside of the health and social care as well and I am currently a director on a multi-academy trust, schools trust, and also a director, board of directors on a UK charity, uh, which I'm immensely proud of, and, and I really value being able to give back. Would I recommend health and social care to everyone and anyone? Yes, of course, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a great career, and it's a career that you can do like me, leaving school with, nine, I think it's nine CSEs, you can still grow, you can still develop, and you can develop at your rate, not necessarily what those around you want to do. And actually, I feel really privileged that I've been able to grow in this industry. So would I recommend it? Of course I'd recommend it. So, you know, go and find your local care home, go and find your local home care company and find out what, what we do, because it is, it's a great career. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam. I work for Harley Healthcare. I am the director and the registered manager. So we started Akala Healthcare six years ago, just over six years ago. What does it entail? A bit of everything really. So I'm the director and the registered manager. Um, so it's anything from payroll to compliance to recruitment and to marketing, lots of different elements um, of my role. No two days are the same, which makes me love the role um, even more. Um, I attend different networking events, which I really enjoy, getting to know other um, leaders in health and social care and making sure that we keep up to date with all the industry uh, knowledge. Um, there's all the CPC compliance as well. Um, yeah, there's lots of different elements and I, I really enjoy my job, which is great. 
Okay, so I've been in the care industry for many years. I don't like to count it up anymore. Um, but I've worked since I was 14. Um, I started volunteering um, as a carer on um, a school group hops during the summer holidays, which I really enjoyed. Then when I went to university, I was working as an agency carer and I absolutely loved that role because I went to so many different settings, uh, working in Ipswich Hospital, um, through to working with someone with um, CJD, um, working with adults with language disabilities, it gave me a wide range of experience, um, which was fab. I've got a degree in mental health psychology, although I do quite often joke and say um, it's not really relevant for the world that I do now. Um, I worked as a registered manager from a, for a domiciliary care company um, and then following that role I got into recruitment where I was working in the care sector. I always felt my heart was in care. Um, some people say, oh you work in recruitment? I was like, no, no, I work in care. And then um, it was just over six years ago um, that we took the leap to start a kind of healthcare because we wanted to make a difference. So for us, for Akala Healthcare, our mission is to help people live a life well lived. And I think for me, when I've had feedback from the people we support on um, some journeys they've been on, um, that's what makes it all worthwhile for me. So one of the people we support, she um, has recently been on a cruise and I went to go and visit her after she'd been on the cruise and she said that she feels like she can do anything now, which was just so amazing and I was so chuffed. Um, and another lady we support has recently been on a ski trip and I went to go and see her recently and she was so chuffed with her ski trip and um, she was so grateful as well for um, us at Akala Healthcare and the team that supported her. So for me, I think you've got to enjoy the job and when we're working alongside the people that we're supporting, there's a great opportunity to enjoy it. Um, we want to try and make people smile and hopefully if they're having a nice time, we're having a nice time too. Uh, to be proactive, uh, working as an agency member of staff, I go along to lots of new places for the first time. It's really difficult to be proactive on that first shift, but I was always there with a smile on my face, asking people what extra I can be doing. Um, what else? We've got um, to take opportunities. There's so many, hope, well, hopefully, different um, care providers are offering their staff different opportunities to learn, um, to go on different training course, and to jump at those opportunities. If there's career progression, Hi, I'm Ruth French from Stowe Healthcare. Happy International Women's Day. I am director at Stowe Healthcare and we have eight nursing and residential homes across East Anglia, four of which are rated outstanding. My career in social care has probably been a little bit of an accident and I entered it having actually worked as a civil servant in Whitehall for around a decade. I think what I enjoy most about my job is being able to make a tangible difference to the lives of my residents. This week I was speaking to one of our residents who's recently entered one of our homes, having had a stay in hospital and coming to us for respite. And actually what she was telling me was she's decided to make it her permanent home because she feels so well cared for and so safe there. And for me, that's what it's all about. I love running my day-to-day -day business, caring for hundreds of staff and residents across our eight homes, but I also enjoy what I do outside of that to support the social care sector more generally. Part of what's really important to me is my work with the Outstanding Society, where I help to um, really encourage um, promotion of better standards across social care. But I also try and take some time to network with other women outside of social care because we have so much to learn from each other. One of the things that I've tried to overcome is my fear of not having the right to be in that space or that room. Um, I really love listening to inspirational podcasts such as How to Own the Room. Um, I've really tried hard to improve my public speaking and overcome those fears. So I think that is what would be my top tip to you is to try and look for ways to improve the things that you feel a bit scared of and really embrace those. Mm -hmm.